All right, hey, it's Dr. Joseph with SCP Sports Chiropractic Performance, and this video, we're gonna show you four stretches you can do at your desk. Now, for this video, I'm trying to keep it as realistic as possible, so we're here at a desk, and we're not gonna be using anything you wouldn't have in a normal office or desk situation. To be fair, I've never worked in an office or desk situation, so this is my best interpretation. You have a chair, a desk, a computer monitor, and a wall. Those are the things you need. All right, so the first thing, we're gonna start from the top down, uh, the neck. We all know poor posture. You know, we're typing at our desk, shoulders are rolled forward, head's looking forward, and usually back is round, rounded out. The traps, right from base of the skull to the shoulders. They get tight, that's usually where poor posture comes from. You have a lot of muscles up here in the neck. Most people carry their stress in the shoulders. Poor posture is also carried in the shoulders. You can see it when people stand up, their necks are forward, shoulders are rolled forward. Today we're just gonna give you easy things to do to help that. Um, so the first thing is we do have two chairs here, uh, normal chair here and then we have one that swivels. You can do this with both or you can do it without uh, whatever works best for you. So we're gonna start with, well, this chair here. But what you're gonna do is grab on the edge, sit up tall, lean away from the side you're grabbing, look toward the side you're grabbing and then tilt away. And you're gonna feel a pull from the neck coming down to the top of the shoulder. You don't wanna over pull, you, we don't wanna be ripping tissue but a nice stretch and then tilt in and even you can even use your hand to grab on this side. So this is gonna stretch out your trap. Holding it 30 seconds probably is good. But again, if you're gonna hold it for longer, you don't wanna be overly stretching, trying to rip that shoulder up. And so be sure you do that for both sides. You wanna make sure, same thing, grabbing other side, lean away, look toward the side you're grabbing to, and then tilt the head away. You will probably be tighter on one side than the other. That is normal for everyone. We all have our tight sides. We have our sides that are more flexible and that's how you do a trap stretch. The other way you can do, the other muscle that you could stretch using the same techniques is called the levator stretch. So grab the edge, lean away. This time you're gonna look away from the side you're grabbing and then down to the floor. Same idea on the other side, grab, lean away, look away, and then look to the floor. Great stretches for the neck. 30 seconds, again, don't rip off. Don't be trying to rip off your neck muscles. Um, so nice, easy stretch for 30 or more seconds. So if you, you should have a chair. If you don't, if you're just gonna do it standing, rather than grabbing something, you can put your hand behind your back it does stretch out this tissue a little more. Hand goes behind the back. Everything else stays the same, except you're not gonna be leaning. Arm behind, left, left arm behind the back, looking toward that arm and leaning away. It's another way to get a deep stretch in your neck muscles. So that's the other way you can do it if you're not gonna be sitting and you're gonna be standing. All right, moving on down, we're gonna go to our mid-back, which is your, called your thoracic spine between here and here. Chair, ideally you want something with a low back. Okay, so the idea is you sit at the very, very back, best posture, arms behind the head, and inhale, and as you exhale, you're gonna lean back, getting a, a good mid-back stretch. You don't wanna overdo it, and exhale, and as you, when you exhale fully, you come back up. Very simple, eight to 10 times, do it every hour if you can. This is the opposite of that uh, hunched over position that, we, that we're in most of the day. If you don't have a low back chair, ideally you'd have a higher desk. It's gonna be a little harder to do with, uh, with this low desk, but you come up, Extend the arms out, reach them, hip legs back and drop everything and bend. And what you're trying to do, drop your chest to the floor, getting as much mid back extension. Moving on down, we're gonna, the, for personally, and of course there are a lot of other stretches you can do at your job, but these are for me, these are the ones that 
I find to be the most effective for the least amount of time. Of course, you should spend as much time stretching as possible. But moving on down, quads and hips, hip flexors. The easiest one to do that most people know, grabbing your heel, pull your heel to your butt, keep your knees together, stretching your quads. Sitting all day, they're short, they're, they're not being used. This is another way to open them up. Both sides, you, again, you will have one side tighter than the other. Now, that's my left side is tight. If you can't pull your heel to your butt, that's what you should work towards, but you can, if you come this way, you have a chair, you have a desk, two different, one way you can do it is if you can barely bend your knee. And again, if you have, if you're dealing with surgeries or anything like that, don't be over bending your knee more than you're supposed to. Put your heel, or sorry, the top of your foot on the chair. If this is as far as you can go, great, but try to work to get your heel closer to your hip. Um, desks are a little higher. If you don't want to put your uh, shoes on your desk, use a pad, put it down here, take shoes off. We're gonna do my right leg. Now it is hard to just kick it up there. Okay, so if you, if you, if you can do this and you can't grab your heel, then something a little higher. This is one of my favorite ones to do because we have, we have beds here that are a little higher and I love to just sit in the position for about a minute, minute and a half, stretching my quad. But lean forward, use support from a wall, put your heel there, stand up tall, be sure you have something for balance, the wall, a chair, and you wanna get in a position, lean back to where you feel a pull on your thigh. Great, great to do um, if you're looking for a passive, easy stretch for the quad. Kind of, you get a little bit of top of the hip flexor, but mostly getting the quad stretch. All right, moving on to the last one, all the way down. For what I tell a lot of patients is that your calves get very tight. Loose calves make everything easier. Bending over is easier, getting up, getting down. So calf stretch, we all have walls in offices. Lean against the wall if we're gonna be stretching our right calf, can you see? Okay, right calf goes back, toes are gonna to wanna drift out. Keep your toes forward, facing the wall, lean into it, and your heel does not lift off the ground, knee stays straight. You lean forward, go as far as you need to go, getting a good stretch in your calf. If this isn't enough, step back a little bit, lean forward. Important, your heel's gonna wanna come up. Don't let it come up and don't let your knee bend. Knee straight, heel straight. Lean into that wall. Again, it's another one you can hold for a minute, minute and a half, getting a good calf stretch. Always do both. Forward, check your foot. Lean in, knee straight, calf straight. Front leg provides a lot of support. Obviously the wall provides support as well. Those are the four easy desk stretches that you can do in any, almost any desk situation. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below. And if you like this video, be sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see all of our future videos.